Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. I've been asked a few times about the color shift that happens when you upload videos on YouTube. So in this video, I'll try to explain what to do to have consistent colors from Adobe Premiere to YouTube. And of course, I will discuss about different encoders YouTube servers use, like AVC and VP9. And I will explain how in Adobe Premiere, you can create a lot that will compensate for the color shift. Hi, and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. This is a color test from an export of Adobe Premiere to YouTube. All right, so this is my original footage. So the first thing we need to do is to color correct our image. Um, the, best, the best way to start is to uh, adjust the contrast and luminosity. So let's go to the curves and um, I'm gonna push uh, a bit of highlights. Let's see here, the white is a bit uh, lower than the maximum. So we can add a bit of white. Not so much that it peaks, but enough to have bright whites. And then we'll do the same with the blacks. Uh, let's go down on the blacks and maybe uh, maybe like that so we can see the texture of my shirt but then a bit more black there we go So it seems like a nice image for now. Um, second thing to do is to check the color balance, the white balance. So we'll, we're going to choose the white balance selector and go on our white card. So we have a result of 3.3 uh, for the temperature and minus 2.2 for the tint. So it seems that my original image did have a, a bit too much reds. It, it was a bit cold as well. So, it, and then we need to check the skin tones to see if they are, they are all right. The best way to see it is check on the skin line on the vector scope. So uh, we are going to isolate the skin. I'm going to edit and I'm going to create a mask. Let's go for my forehead. There we go. So you see the line is not in the middle of the skin lines. So we might have a bit more red in the image. We're going to go to effects and look for fast corrector like this let's go to editing and check for the line here and by changing the u angle we will be able to change toward reds or yellow or green so let's put it right on the line that seems to be better. Remove the mask. Like this. And go to colors again. Okay. Another thing we can do is maybe add a bit of uh, sharpening. Like this, maybe. And why not a bit of vibrance? I think the, the face could be a bit brighter. So I'm going to go back to the curves and 
Yeah, just like that. It's a bit more vibrant. Um, and before we export that video, we're going to go back to basic and check if the white balance shift or if it's still OK. Yep, our numbers did, did not change. And if you want to make sure of it, you can go back to editing and make a selection of the white card like this. And see the point is right in the middle. Let's get rid of this. All right. So I'm going to just take a part. I for in, O for out, and Control M to make the exportation. And what I'm going to do is take H264 and match source. Actually, uh, my video is in HD and on YouTube to get uh, the best compression, uh, which is called VP9, uh, you need to put your video in 4K. So I'm going to select YouTube 4K Ultra HD and um, give it a name. So it's going to be color correct corrected save and let's export it so my video has been converted to vp9 and i'm gonna do a print screen of it and then i'm gonna put the print screen in my project like so so we can see the difference. I'm going to scale it down because it's a 4K uh, video. You can see the color shift. And even in the vector, you can see some dots and lines towards the red. There's a bit also toward the cyan. that wasn't there. And there's less color overall, you can see. OK, so let's do a um, compensation lot. The first thing we will do is uh, do the white balance again. Strangely, it does not want to change the, the reds. Oh, that, that's too much. I'm going to remove a bit of reds anyway. Something like that, maybe. And you see the whites did not change here, but we have le uh, more blacks but not that much seems to be scattered. Yeah, there's still a bit of uh, reds in the shirt. So, okay, and we're gonna go the opposite side of the of the red. And let's see again. Colors. OK, so all the changes we made on the print screen coming from YouTube, 
needs to become a lot. To do so, you're going to go here up front and export as .cube and uh, name it. So I'm going to put, uh, put it there. And this is going to be my lot one. You see, I made some tests before. <clears throat> and to check if the lot one did anything good, we're going to export the same video here and while applying the, the lot file. So control M. So we're going to choose 4K again. But this time, we're going to add the LUT. You click on select and reach for your LUT file. This is the one we just made. Okay. And we're going to name it corrected LUT1. Save and export. <clears throat> Okay, the next step is to put that file up to YouTube again and compare it to the original and see if they match. Uh, you can maybe you'll need to do uh, that a few times back and forth. And of course, the encoder of YouTube will adapt to what you send it to. So if you put more greens, maybe they will. Uh, put less green uh, and react that way. So my exportation is almost done. I'm going to go back to add. All right, that's done. Lot one, again, private, and I'm going to pause and wait that that video becomes encoded with VP9, and I'll come back. A color corrected lot file has been encoded in VP9, so I'll be doing a print screen of it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to load it in our project. Um, let's see. Lot one. Here we go. Let's scale it. And let's check if uh, the color balance is okay. Okay, it asks for a warmer uh, tone, but other than that, If we check the vector scope, see the limits of uh, each colors. It's very close. <clears throat> we still have some peaks in the reds and in the cyan, but to me, it seems acceptable. So we could accept this lot, the lot one, as our <coughs> chosen lot. Um, the thing is, we could add the difference in temperature if we want. But for now, um, I don't feel that there's a red and a cyan glow over the image as uh, we first saw. Uh, when uh, after the first upload. So it's up to you to go further and um, go with trials and error and 
adjust the image as you see fit. Uh, to me, uh, the lot one that we created before is, uh, is okay. So I hope I gave you some great tools to get consistent colors from Adobe Premiere to YouTube. If you like my videos, please click on like, hit the bell to get notifications, share those videos, and put questions in the comments below or recommendation on next videos I could do.